guys, it's Robin from The Balanced Life. Today's video is going to be all about how to release those annoying and painful knots in your back. So I don't know about you, but I deal with these quite a bit. I have scoliosis. I also do a lot of workouts. I also lift kids all day. So I find that I get a lot of tension in my upper back, particularly under my shoulder blades. And so I wanna show you how to do some self trigger point release at home. So for those times you can't get into the um, spa to get a massage or get in to see your physical therapist, you can do this yourself. So I am going to be using a little ball. This is actually a trigger point release ball and I will link to this in the um, section below. But if you don't have one of these, you could also use a tennis ball. Um, that's my first recommendation. For a more intense massage, you could use a lacrosse ball or a racket ball. Those kind of feel a little bit more intense on the muscle. So everybody's different in their preference. Um, but if you're new to this, I recommend starting with a little bit of a softer ball before going for the really hard ones, okay? Now, trigger point release is a huge topic, one that I could spend hours talking about with you. But just for the sake of today's video, I want you to know that when you feel like you have those knots in your back or a spot that just won't release, it's usually from chronic repetitive strain or overuse of a muscle or underuse of a muscle. It doesn't get enough movement or um, even maybe a past injury that never fully healed and it just is always being used improperly for that reason. So what's important to know is that this can be a little bit painful, but the best tool you have to guide you in this trigger point release is your pain. So I actually don't want it to be painful for you. I want you to use pain as your guide, okay? The best thing if you're doing this at home and you have the time would be to do a little bit of foam rolling on the area that feels really tender to you or where you think you have the most knots, um, just to give some wider massage and to loosen up the fascia. From there, you can start using the ball and you can do this on the mat like I'm gonna demonstrate, or you could go up against a wall, which would be a little bit less intense, again, if you're new or it feels really tender, okay? so. Basically, when you have a knot in your back, it's like a muscle is stuck in contraction and sometimes pain refers. So we don't always know we have these knots in our back. We may be feeling something in the front of our shoulder or even when we go into a plank, our shoulder might feel weird or we try to do a pull up. It's all pain refers, right? So we don't always know where these are. So you're going to use the ball to reveal that to you. And trust me, you will know. So go ahead and lie yourself back onto your mat and take your ball and place it behind your upper back and preferably kind of right underneath your shoulder blade. Now don't lean too hard into it and I want you to just kind of move it around gently and if you're like me it's automatically revealing to you that you've got a lot of tension and knots and trigger points that need to be released. But if you don't feel anything just kind of gently roll it around until you find a really tender spot and then when you find that spot hold but I want you to think of your pain scale of one to 10 and keep it at about a three or four. So lessen the pressure by leaning off to the side just a little bit if it feels too intense and just hold that spot. So close your eyes and breathe and hold that spot, keeping the pressure at about a three or four. It should be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be so painful that you feel your body respond. If it's too intense. If you go to like a pain level 10, your body's going to grab, your muscles are going to grab and hold on to that tension. So hold it about a three or four and breathe. Breathe through it. Try to relax your body into it. Imagine your body melting over the ball. And sometimes you'll feel that the point has moved just a little bit. So you can move the ball to find it again and relax into it and breathe. Again, imagine yourself melting over the ball. Good, and just kind of continue to move it around. It may take a few seconds on a particular knot. It may take a few minutes. So hold it in your spot and just let it release. And if this is too intense, you could try it leaning against the wall. That way you have a little bit more control of the pressure. Good. And so I would recommend that you continue doing this all along the shoulder blade, 
all along the trapezius, finding all of the tender spots that are really causing you trouble. Maybe do this in the uh, evening before bed or while you're watching TV at night. Work your way through it. And then when you're finished, make sure to do some good stretching. So bringing the arm across the body to stretch out that muscle right beneath your shoulder blade. Maybe doing a little bit of side neck stretches to loosen up the trapezius. So if you're gonna do this again, ideally you foam roll first. Then you spend a little time with your ball, releasing those trigger points, breathing into it. And then you end with a little bit of stretching so that you can reset and get rid of that pain once and for all. So this is fantastic to do before your workouts. So you'll find that your form is much better and you can move with much less pain and restriction. It's also good just to do at the end of a long day when you're feeling really tense. So hopefully you guys find this helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer as soon as I can. I'll see you back on your mat very soon.